everybody. It's Katie from Katie Goes Platinum again. I did my first live stream here last week and we had a blast. I was nervous. I almost passed out on air. That was a whole other story. But uh, today I promised not to do that. And I hope you can hear me. If you are here, you can hear me. Would you please make a comment so I know? And let me just shut down a few windows here because they're distracting me. Okay. So anyway, the reason we're talking about rude comments. Oh, hey, Jolie. Nice to see you. I got to point out my friend Jolie from quicksilverhair.com, one of my favorite people on earth. And she and I definitely have to have uh, comments, or what do you call it? We definitely have talks all the time about um, rude comments because as gray hair bloggers and YouTubers, you would not believe the kind of rude emails and comments that we get every day. We Luckily, we have each other, so we just bounce these off of each other. But and we also are very confident in our gray hair. And that's the one thing I want to tell you today is if you feel confident about your choice to go gray, and if you feel confident about your gray hair, rude comments will just slide off your back, like water off a duck's back. Is that the saying? But uh, if you are feeling at all insecure about your decision to go gray or insecure about how you look with gray hair, rude or negative comments can derail you and might even send you go, you know, back to the dye bottle. And a lot of you don't want to go back to the dye bottle. So that's why we're here today to figure out how to handle these that were forewarned is forearmed, as they say, and you can be prepared if you get a comment and then it won't derail you. Now, last week I almost passed out because I was talking too much and I didn't eat breakfast and I didn't breathe. So I'm going to be a little slower today. So I'm going to take a little breath here so I don't pass out. And I want to say hi to Judith and Sherry. Nice to see you too. Okay, so I'm going to just talk a little bit about this first, and then I'm going to jump into your comments or questions. So if you have any good comebacks for rude comments or negative feedback about your gray hair, I would love it if you would post those in the chat, and we can go over those together. In the meantime, um, so I just want to reiterate a few points. Now, sometimes people will tell me, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never once had a rude or negative comment on my gray hair. And I have to say, if that's happened to you, that is wonderful, and I'm so happy for you. And I actually, in real life, I actually did not get many rude comments on my gray hair. I got negative rude comments and rude feedback when I would, you know, kind of take a little too much time between my dyes and people would see my gray hair. And of course, some of my friends who are on the rude side would feel free to point out, oh, oh, you know, you better co you know, cover that up. You don't want to look old or whatever. And because I did feel insecure at the time about my gray hair, I would cover it up. Um, but since once I decided to go gray cold turkey, I didn't really care what people thought. It didn't bother me. I think I only had maybe two rude comments during my transition. I had a man that I know who's actually a lovely person, but he came right up to me at church and said, I don't like your hair that way. You need to cover it up. And I just said, well, I like it. And so I'm not going to. And he was really taken aback by that. I don't think people are used to people just feeling confident in saying something like that. And he said, oh, okay, well, if you like it, that's all that matters. And actually, now that he's seen it all grown out, he loves it, and he's got nothing but nice things to say about it. But even, sometimes if you need to, just say something abrupt like that. Just get in the moment and let them know, hey, the subject's off limits. I like the way I look, and that's all that matters. I think I have a drink of water. Hold on. Okay. So um, one thing I hear a lot from my readers is that this seems to be more of a problem in America than other countries. And it also seems to be a problem in certain states more than it is in other states. For example, in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, Seattle and those areas, there tend to be a lot more people going gray and being acceptance or accept, what do you call it? They're accepting of gray hair than there are in Areas like I live, Los Angeles. Los Angeles is getting a little better that way, but sometimes still there's some old-fashioned uh, attitudes about gray hair. And, uh, whew, darn it. Jolie told me to breathe more, but it's hard to breathe and talk at the same time. Anyway, so um, I don't know what state you live in, but I would love it if you would take a moment to go into the chat, let me know, and let me know how people in your area tend to feel, or if you, they give you gray hair, negative comments or not. Thank you. I'll take a moment here to breathe. Okay, so um, people in other countries, especially some of the Scandinavian countries, 
countries like um, also in Europe, like Germany, people have told me there that doesn't seem to be such an issue for them. And I think my theory is in America, we tend to be pretty open, especially depending on what part of the country you live in. Like I said, I don't know if New England is famous for being open, but we tend, people in America tend to be open and friendly. They talk to strangers on the street. And sometimes that has a downside, which is people will come up to you and say also negative things. I heard from a woman once in my email list and she had a lady that she didn't know cross the street, grab her by the arm and tell her, please dye your hair. If you don't dye your hair, your husband is going to leave you for a younger woman. It happened to me. So obviously that's a kind of crazy scenario, but this did happen to a lady. She told me about it. And I've had other friends who've had similar experiences. So um, I think some of our friends in Scandinavia or other countries might be shocked to hear that. But in America, like I said, we tend to be more open and these things do happen. So you need to be ready. Now, Jolie is saying, is telling us about New Mexico. Let's see what she has to say. Yeah, I've heard that. In New Mexico, they seem to be more accepting of gray hair. It seems to be more, um, normal there to go all natural. And I think that's great. Well, you know, I live in Los Angeles and it's getting better. But when I first moved here 30 years ago, you wouldn't, I, I it was a kind of a shock to me to see the sheer amount of plastic surgery. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but there's a lot more plastic surgery here. There's a lot more trying to look youthful or um, with it no matter what age you are. And so sometimes that can feel like pressure and it's a little hard to feel like you can be yourself. So thanks, Julie. I'm happy that you uh, have a little better experience in New Mexico. Okay, let's see what else somebody else has to say. Judith, let me just get a drink of water here. That's great. Uh, so Judith has mainly experienced um, any, only a couple negative comments to her face, probably more behind her back. I think a lot of us have experienced that, but many positive comments. And I think that's something that a lot of us don't expect, but it does tend to be true. A lot of us get a lot more positive feedback on our transition or our decision to go gray than we do negative feedback. Let me just adjust my camera here. Um, one thing that can be kind of irritating when you're going gray is that people, um, even if they're not saying something negative, they still want to give feedback. And I did a whole video about this. I'll post it in the uh, description of the video when I post it today after, after we're done. But um, sometimes you'll all of a sudden become the subject of a discussion. And I'm an extrovert. I don't mind if people notice me. I, I go to a party, I could talk to any stranger. I don't mind being the center of attention up to a point. But it is odd when you walk into a room and people haven't seen you for a while and they say, you know, wow, you went great. And you, you could be like, yes, yeah, I did. And, um, and I always say before they can say anything else. And I love it because sometimes if you start off with, I love it, people feel less free to jump in with their like, oh, my God, you know, why did you do this crazy thing kind of comments. But often what happens, and so this isn't such a rude experience, it's more like a strange experience, they'll start talking amongst themselves. So they'll listen to you and they might ask you some questions about going gray. You might get some comments about how you're brave to go gray, which isn't rude, but gets annoying after a while because it kind of feels like they're saying you're doing a really crazy thing and I, and I would never do it, but kudos to you for doing it. And that can kind of make you feel a little funny, you know, but it's not rude. It's just, Odd. So anyway, that's the, probably the number one comment you're going to hear when you're going gray is how brave you are. And um, this is the weird thing that happens is you go to a party, people see you, like I said, they start commenting on your gray hair, you tell them how much you love it, they ask you some questions, and all that's good. And then the second half happens, which is the women who don't want to dye their hair right in front of you will start discussing how they would never do it they're too vain or they care too much about their looks to go gray, which of course makes you sit there feeling like, well, I guess you mean I don't care about my looks or I don't care about how I look or feel or I'm letting myself go. I mean, you start kind of coming up with your own scenario because when they're telling you that they're too vain to go gray, it makes it sound like you just don't give a crap about how you look. And that's usually not the case. 
So, um, so that can be weird. They start talking about your gray hairs if you're not there and you have to kind of deal with that. That's a whole other subject. I'll put my video about that down below. So anyway, let's um, talk in now about how to handle the rude comments when they come. So the comments we're talking about so far have mainly been observations. And maybe it is rude for people to give you their observations out loud instead of keeping them to their, themselves. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt because let's face it, it still is fairly unusual to go gray in our society. And so they're just kind of trying to work it out. And sometimes they're trying to work it out if maybe it's something they might want to do. You know, so sometimes they're, it's kind of like the wheels are turning and they're talking out loud about it. So I try to be nice about stuff like that. But what we don't like is the people who flat out are rude and say things to your face. You would not believe some of the emails I get. Let me have a little glass of water here before I tell you. Whew. Yeah, and before I do that, Jolie pointed out projection is often the driver for insults or rude comments, which is true. If somebody is making a rude comment about your appearance, that's usually because they are insecure about their own decision or their own choice. For example, uh, when my uh, older son was a baby, I opted to use uh, natural diapers, you know, cloth diapers, because I'd read enough studies that I was not feeling like I wanted to do, um, what do you call them, disposables. And I never proselytized to anybody about that. I never said a word to anybody that was my own personal choice for me and for my baby. I would never presume to tell somebody what they should do. But when I would be with other mothers and I would have to change my baby in front of them and they would see that I was using the cloth diaper, immediately I would start getting feedback and pushback about why it's a dumb idea to use cloth diapers and how it's not actually environmentally friendly and all this stuff. And it always kind of took me aback because I wasn't asking for their opinion. I wasn't telling them what to do. I was just going about my business using cloth diapers for my baby and I got a ton of negative feedback to the point where I had to put up a boundary with a certain relative of mine to stop talking to me about it. And sometimes you have to do that with your gray hair too. People don't like it when you do things that they're not ready to do or that they don't want to do or they feel insecure about not doing. Uh, I would never tell somebody they should go gray. I would never push my uh, gray hair agenda, not that I have one, on somebody I would never presume to do that because you don't know somebody's life circumstances. You don't know their career or their relationship with their spouse or any of that, or why maybe they had a mother with gray hair and they absolutely hated her guts and they never want to have gray hair because of her, whatever. Everybody has their own reasons for doing things. I don't think it's our place to weigh in, but unfortunately, a lot of the people you meet on the street don't share that opinion and they're going to give you their straight out, sometimes rude feelings about your choices and it's something we have to deal with. So let's be forearmed. Okay, so one thing I wanted to point out was I had a, a reader who couldn't be here today, and I like her responses. Oh my gosh, I just lost it. Hold on, let me find that here on Silver Revolution. Okay, Diane, this is for you. Diane says she has a few comebacks at the ready at all times, which is a good idea. You should have them ready. And I'm going to put a cheat sheet for you in the description of this video once it's posted. And it's going to be a free list of comments that, um, that you can use to help you with your um, gray hair. Sorry, people are still, I'm getting um, so annoying. I'm still, I'm on focus on my iPhone and I can still see texts I'm getting from family members. Okay. Anyway, so this woman says, uh, when somebody gives her a rude comment about her gray hair, she says, I wish I cared. That's it. And then she just goes about her business. I like that. That's straightforward and to the point. And uh, when somebody says she's brave, she says, it's just hair. I'm not Joan of Arc. I like that too. You know, sometimes you might hurt somebody's feelings, but you know, you got to do what feels right to you without going so far that you like ruin that friendship unless you're ready to do that, of course. Okay, so let's look at some scenarios here. Hold on. Okay, so here's a, here's a scenario. This actually happens more than you would expect. Somebody comes up to you and says, oh my God, you're going gray. What does your husband think? And I always found that kind of weird because it's not the 1950s where the husband's in charge of everything. Uh, so that's one answer you could give. Like, well, what is this, the 1950s? I make my own decisions about my appearance. Um, and if you want to be a little nicer than that, another option you can do is, well, my husband supports me in this decision. And, and honestly, even if he didn't support me, it's my hair, so it's my choice. Now, if you really want to be funny, if funny is your way of handling rude comments, I like this one. Well, I don't know what my husband thinks, but my boyfriend absolutely loves it. I love giving comebacks like that.
because it really throws people off, but you haven't really offended them because it's funny. I'll give you an example. When I first uh, joined the Cub Scouts with my son, we went on our first camping trip and I was so happy to do that. I felt like I'd found my people and uh, got to the camp out and there was a lady there. I didn't know her yet. And uh, she said to me, I, I made the mistake of asking her because I didn't know the rules yet. I said, you know, oh, this is my first camp out with the Boy Scouts. I'm so excited. Um, is, it, is it okay? I don't know the rules. Is it okay to have a little glass of wine at night before I to go, go to bed? I didn't know if that was allowed uh, here on this beach. We were on a beach in LA. And um, I sleep terribly on camp outs. I need a little wine to calm down and, and go to bed. And she looks at me and she gives me this look and she goes, well, I don't know how it is with the state of California. I don't know how the beaches, you know, what they care about with drinking wine. But in the Cub Scouts, it is absolutely not allowed. And she said it in this very patronizing way. She gave me a look. So I just said, oh, my God, well, thank God I left my cocaine at home. And what's funny is she was silent for about 30 seconds. And then she burst out laughing because she thought I was serious. Um, so sometimes those kind of comebacks are good. So if you have any humorous or funny com comebacks that you like to use with your gray hair, put them in the chat. I would love to see them and I will share them here today. Okay, so now let's say um, one of the uh, comments that happened to me, you're letting your hair go gray? Well, I don't like it. So then you could do what I did, which is, well, I like it and then just change the subject because it's the point. You could maybe try to educate them about why it's a good idea to go gray, why you're going gray, you give them a whole big speech. But to be honest, I don't have time for that. And if you do have time for that, or you want to educate people, that's wonderful. But a lot of us don't want to educate people. I want to let people know it's not okay to go up to somebody and just comment rudely or negatively on their appearance. It's not okay. So I'm, you know, as they say on Survivor and those kind of shows, I'm not here to make friends. But if you are, that's good. And then you, you know, handle it your own way. So anyway, you're letting your hair go gray. I don't like it. So the second, um, so what I, I guess I don't have a second option for that one. <laughs> My option is just, well, I like it. That's it. If someone is rude enough to tell you straight out that they don't like your gray hair, there's I don't see any point in trying to educate them. Okay, this is a comment that a lot of people get, especially from their dear friends, which is, you're going to look so much older with gray hair. So uh, one of the comments I like to use for that is, well, every day on here on Earth, every day on Earth is a gift, so I'm fine with that. I have lost several friends in the past year to cancer and uh, bike accidents and other accidents and sometimes even myself even though I love gray hair and I'm an advocate for gray hair we all have our days where you're like oh boy does it make me look older or do I just look older in general and um and I think the best way to handle that is honestly wouldn't you rather be here on earth looking older if you do if you do than not here you know my friend who passed away last year she had three children she would have much preferred to be here on earth with her children, with her family, having a great time and enjoying life like she did and having gray hair or saggy jowls or whatever happens to us as we get older, then you would not. So that's a good answer. The other answer that somebody told me that they say when that happens is they say, wow, shallow much, which I thought was fun. And a humorous answer is I may or may not look older, but I'll be fabulous nonetheless. So um, just remember when people are telling you these kind of rude comments, they've got their own insecurities, their own problems. They don't feel good about themselves and they want to make you not feel good about yourself. And so that's why it's important to be ready. Okay, let me have a glass of water again. I am getting a lot fewer comments than last time. Not that that's bad, but I would love to hear from you guys. So please let me see your comments, see your comebacks. I would love to share them. Okay, Jolie has one. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, the one I get most often and all my life since I started graying at 13 is you're too young to go gray. My ready answer is obviously my hair, I didn't get that memo. That is so true. A lot of people say that to us and it's like, if nobody on earth dyed their hair, if nobody ever dyed their hair, you would see people walking around with gray hair as young as five. I have had women write to me that started going gray as a toddler and um i started going gray probably around 15 and i think i was probably fully gray by the time i was about 25 or 30. and not everybody has that but a lot of us do you would see a lot more women and men in their 20s and 30s with gray hair if all of us didn't dye their hair 
Hold on one second, one moment. Okay, had to get rid of somebody there. Um, let me get close this for a second. Okay, here's what Judith has to say. I love this. One sec. So Judith said she had a woman with dyed short hair tell her she wasn't fooling anyone into thinking she was young with that long hair. <laughs> what is wrong with people? What? Yeah, that is another comment I've gotten to is people have a big issue with women over a certain age, not just having gray hair, but women having long hair. Um, I've had women tell me before, and they think they're being nice. They say, cut off that gray hair, you know, have some confidence, which I find odd because I am confident. I would be confident with no hair. That's just how I was raised, thank God. I had loving, supportive parents. I feel good. I mean, I have days, like we all do, where I don't feel confident. But um, people, uh, they project a lot of their own insecurities onto us and our appearance. It's funny, isn't it, Judith? So that is really crazy. I'm sorry that happened to you, but um, it looks like you have a good sense of humor about it. So that's great. Okay, so yeah, people saying um, how we will look older or look miserable with our gray hair. I had a friend, this is the craziest one. I had a friend who was um, an animator at a major uh, you know, entertainment company, I can't say the name, obviously. And she was one of only a couple animators in her department who are female. So that's already putting you kind of at a disadvantage in that um, field. And um, she had beautiful long hair and she decided she was gonna go gray. She, she started going out, uh, she decided she was gonna go gray with a salon transition because partly because of her um, field, you know, and also competing with younger people. She didn't wanna have a, a messy grow out like a lot of us do with our cold turkey. And so, um, but I think before, if I can remember right, before you go get your hair blended, you need to kind of grow out a little so they can kind of try to match your natural color. So she'd gotten this hair, um, they, they were in the middle of transitioning her to gray hair. So she had her gray roots and she had kind of bleached blonde hair down here. And it wasn't looking what she would consider its best at the time, but it's her business, right? So the only other female employee in her department walks up to her and hands her a wad of cash and presses it into her hand and says, here, now you can go get your hair colored. Can you believe the balls of that woman? Apparently she thought my friend was too poor to get her hair colored. Never even occurred to her that it was her choice. I also think, cause we talked about this later, being the only two women in that department and being the, uh, two of the older people in that department, there was a good chance this woman felt like by my friend going gray, that it was kind of outing them as older. And she didn't want to be associated with that. So she wanted my friend to take care of her hair right away so that neither of them would be tainted with I, with the um, their age or whatever. I was ridiculous. So luckily my friend didn't listen to her and she now is an executive at another entertainment company and she has long silver hair and she looks fantastic. So the story has a good ending. Okay, another thing people say is, you'll never get a boyfriend with that gray hair, which is so rude. So my first response to that is, uh, wow. And then just walk away. Once again, there's no point in trying to educate somebody like that. And if you don't walk away, you're trying to explain yourself, they're gonna try to keep the conversation going. Why on earth would you want to keep that conversation going? There's no point. Now, if it's your mom or somebody, maybe you gotta be a little nicer, but maybe not. Maybe your mom's toxic and you don't want to, so it's up to you. Okay, another kind of answer you can give is uh, for, um, you'll never get a boyfriend with that gray hair, is the kind of man I want wouldn't be that shallow, which is true. M many women, first of all, have told me I think, I think it was like 75% of single women that I um, asked about how they how dating with gray hair has been working out for them. 75% of them so far have said that it has not been an issue. Now, for some of the ones where it was an issue and a man had a rude comment about her gray hair or wanted her to dye it, for her, that was a good way of weeding out the jerks. So, you know, you can just say that. The kind of man I want won't be shallow enough to care about my gray hair. <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta have a drink of water and breathe a little. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I constantly feel like I'm gonna pass out on live streams. Although, honestly, I think uh, you guys could start taking bets. You could have like a little bet going and then uh, it could be a good way to make a little extra dough. 
Okay, so my third response to somebody who would dare to say, you'll never get a boyfriend with that gray hair. You say, tell that to the 10 guys I met on Tinder last week and then walk away. Okay, nothing's better than shocking people. You know, sometimes you just have to do it to kind of get them to stop being a jerk. Okay, um, <clears throat> now here's how to handle complete strangers. Sometimes complete strangers will have remarks about your gray hair, as we mentioned earlier. So a complete stranger, let's say this is a scenario. A complete stranger walks up to you and says, you're too young for that gray hair. The first thing you could say is just look at them. This is a Miss Manners thing. I love Miss Manners. If you haven't read her before, she's awesome. Step back, put your hand on your chest and say, excuse me, but do I know you? Because why would somebody who doesn't know you feel free to say that? And the other mismanners thing is you can step back and say, how kind of you to take an interest in my personal business and then walk away. The other thing, especially if you live in a more religious community, like, um, you know, uh, the Bible Belt area, you say, are you saying that God doesn't know what he's doing? He gave me this hair. Or if you don't want to say God, you can say, are you saying that Mother Nature doesn't know what she's doing? Look at this, you know, and then just walk away. And remember, if none of these comments feel natural to you, if none of these comebacks feel like something you would ever say, then the thing that you could always say is, especially if you live down south, you say, well, bless your heart. That is one of the best ways to handle it. Because if you know Southerners, you know that when they pull out the well, bless your heart card, it's a nice way of saying, you're an idiot, but I like you and I don't want to hurt your feelings. Now. I, I can't remember her name, uh, Jolie. I think it was Amy, and you know her from the Silver Circle. She had a great comment, which is if, well, bless your heart doesn't work, you say to them, well, bless your heart. I can't believe that that actually came out of your mouth. So anyway, I am not getting any other comments today. So I'll give you a second. If you have anything else you want to share, if you have any other um, uh, rude uh, what do you call it? If you have any good comebacks that you would like to share for your Silver Sisters, put them below. Otherwise, I'm going to conclude this uh, video. And just remember, um, if you are dealing with a lot of negativity or a lot of rude comments from your friends or your family or your um, colleagues, you have me and other women out here who want to support you. Make sure you join the Gray Hair Facebook group like Silver Revolution. That's the one I'm the admin in. You can also join the Silver Circle. That's another one that's great. And there are many other gray hair Facebook groups out there for you. If you don't like, can you hold on one second? I've got a kid trying to call me and I've got to tell him I can't talk to him right now. Hold on one second. Okay. So how do I turn, if I turn my phone off, this should affect you guys, right? Okay. I'm going to try turning my phone off because my kid is persistent. And he's going to keep calling. Okay, so um, Jolene says, hey, Queen, thank you so much, Jolene. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so uh, I lost my train of thought. My kid called me. Okay, so anyway, join a Facebook group if you need support. Come to my uh, YouTube channel. I'm always here for you. Join my uh, gray hair newsletter. You can find the link in my about section on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm here for you. All of us are here for you. and we are going to make your gray hair transition the best and most pleasant experience that you could imagine. We're here for you. And uh, I don't want you to ever have to deal with rude comments. Um, before I go, I did want to say, you might be living with somebody who's giving you bad comments. I have heard from women who um, have had a husband or a partner, usually it's husbands, who is really a jerk about their gray hair. I had a woman tell me once, her husband told her he did not want her to go gray because he didn't want to look across his breakfast table and see an old hag sitting across from him. And somebody is saying stuff like that to you at home, I think you've got a much bigger problem than gray hair confidence. I think you, you've got a person who's trying to undermine you and make you feel bad about yourself and it's in your house. Do you really want to deal with that? I'm not a marriage counselor. I don't, I'm not qualified to give marriage advice, but if somebody is being that cruel to you in your own home, I think you've got to think about if this person's the right person for you. So anyway, uh, if you have any other comments, please leave them on the video. I am going to post this 
to my YouTube channel now. Thank you so much to all of you who showed up today. I'm going to start trying to do these once a week, um, trying to figure out if I'm going to do them on Saturday or Sunday. So if you could also let me know which day is better for you, and I'll try to see, um, I'll try to see uh, which one's best. So take care. Thanks again for coming. Talk to you soon. Bye.